Hey everybody, glad you're here. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I was having some issues with my oil temperature reaching 120 degrees at a somewhat normal level or a normal time frame. And I did two things. I added a oil tank heater, uh, one of those stick-on uh, oil tank heater pads to the oil tank. And I also added a thermostasis um, oil cooler bypass. It's an oil thermostat, a uh, thermostasis oil thermostat. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to plug in the oil tank heater and we're going to let it warm up for a couple of hours and just kind of get an idea on the rise of oil temperature just by using the oil tank heater. Uh, we just had a nice storm. It's about 36 degrees outside. We'll go in the cockpit um, here in just a second. We'll look on the engine monitor, see what the oil temperature is to start with. We'll play it in, let it run for a couple of hours, two or three hours, and we'll try it again. We'll see if we made any difference or not. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are inside the airplane. And make sure all the ignition's off. Turn the key on. We're going to look at the monitor. And hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know. It looks like old temp is 27 degrees. Right there, 27. Okay, and our time on the, the clock is, I have no idea what time it is. Let's just pull out the phone. It is 317. Okay, got her plugged in about 317 we're going to come back in a few hours and we're going to see what we did if we did any good at all okay folks it's 534 it's been going for about two hours and 15 minutes or so and i think we're going to uncow this right now take a look make sure we're not overheating something Make sure that it all still looks good. So there it is. And it really feels pretty warm. It's not cold, but it hasn't made anything around it hot. Firewall's not too hot. Cowling's not too hot. So none of the hoses have gotten hot. Not nearly as hot as they would be if we were running, anyway. Airplane. Let's see what our monitor gives us for a temperature reading. 31 degrees. Okay, so it's come up, I don't know, from 27 to 31. Let's turn this off. So I'm going to leave our ignitions off and I'm going to cycle the starter for five seconds. Maybe that'll get some oil from the tank into the engine. Five, four, three, two, one. Now let's see what we get. Same 31. Hmm. Not sure I understand that. So let's go ignitions on. And let's go ahead and try to start it. Let's see what we get for a temperature. Alright, here we are, engine running.
so let's just give this a couple of minutes and see how quickly the uh, oil temperature rises. Okay, folks, there it is, 120 degrees. And it took exactly 10 minutes. I started the airplane at 644, 654. So uh, with the thermostasis, couple hours um, that's where we're at and we're still climbing 122 like I say it's 36 degrees outside heavy temperature and nasty rain okay so there you have it it took uh, about 10 minutes to get to operating temperature of 120 degrees after warming the oil with the oil tank heater for about two hours and 15 minutes, something like that. I think probably the biggest help of the whole thing was the thermostasis uh, oil thermostat. I, I just believe that that has been a game changer. Um, I know there's a couple of different models. I know Summit Racing makes one. Uh, there's a couple of different oil thermostats on the market. However, the one made by Thermostasis is made for Rotax applications, which is why I went with that one. And um, I think it's going to be a good deal in the long run. Um, it's, like I say, the weather's terrible. It's nasty. It's 36 degrees outside. It's not a day and evening weather that you would fly in. Uh, it's just flat out nasty outside. I feel confident now that I can, that I can leave it, the oil tank heater plugged in for a period of time and not harm anything and uh, I think it's just going to take a little more time to get up to temperature maybe a, a few hours versus a, a couple of hours uh, so but I think uh, I think we're probably ready for the next step in that so anyway thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned I'll let you know how well it progresses and what we decide to do next with it y'all have a great day